Hi, I'm Kritika Kopasami and I'm a Test Masters Perfect Score student. Well, I actually signed up for the test late, so when I was going in, I was like, oh no, bad omens. And then I actually took the test, and then there was this one ridiculously hard math section, which I thought I completely failed. And then I came outside, and I was talking with my friends, and none of them had it, so I hoped it was experimental. And then when my mom picked me up, she was like, oh, how was it? And then. I thought I did fine, but there was still this part of me that was like, I probably didn't go over a 2300. But then when I got my test scores back, I was just extremely surprised. Well, the test scores were supposed to come out on like the 26th or something. And then my mom told me to go check my scores and it was three days before. And I told her, well, it's probably not gonna be on there. But then when I went on the website, they did happen to be on there. And I tried to convince my mom that it wasn't there, but then she logged in on her computer and then she went on the College Board website and she found the date. And then she's like, okay, you better log in right now. So I did. And then I closed my eyes and I clicked the button. And at first I saw my score and I saw the three 800s. And I thought it was like an example post, like, oh, this is what a score report looks like. But then I actually saw my name next to it and I was like, oh my God, and I started screaming. Well, um, my friends and my parents' friends' kids, they had taken test masters before. So like during sophomore year, I decided to take it. And then after taking it, I took, well, I just took the course. And then during junior year, I decided to actually attend exam club sessions. And it was actually exam club that helped me a lot because I kind of focused my pattern of thinking and I realized what things I needed to focus on and how to think when it came to certain SAT questions. Well, when I took the Test Masters course, all my teachers were extremely funny and then they fed us candy every day, which is always a bonus. And then I felt that like even though they were really funny, when it came down to teaching, they actually like taught us well and they taught us like what we needed to know and we got everything covered even though we had fun which was a bonus. Honestly just start early because the SAT was one of those only things that I didn't procrastinate for and it's one of those things that you can't procrastinate for because you can't just like decide a month before the test that you're gonna like actually find out what it's about. You have to kind of know what's on there and then you have to know what are your strengths and weaknesses and then you kind of have to plan like, oh, okay, I'm good at math so maybe I should focus on writing and reading more or oh, I don't like to write essays as much so maybe I should focus on those skills more. And take as many practice tests as you can because those really help a lot because they kind of they help, they like show you what's gonna be on the test. And there's usually nothing new. So whenever you take those practice tests, you kinda know like what, when you, when you go into the test, you know what things you're gonna be strong on and what things you have to focus on. Well, ever since I was younger, I've always wanted to pursue medicine, but that's like 13 years of studying and college tuition, which I really, really don't wanna pay. And it's just something that I really want to do though. But my mom wants me to pursue business because it's a quick four years and then you can easily get a job afterwards. But I'm kind of leaning more towards medicine, but I'm undecided on that front right now. And colleges, well, I would really, really, really love to get into an Ivy League school, even though that's probably not gonna happen. But I always have UT as a fallback, which I'm really thankful for because UT is a great school.